Hello friends, welcome to Darshan Education. Now let us go into a video. In this video, let us explore about class nutrition in animals. Part 4. Discover your stomach, digestion in ruminants and digestion in starfish. Discovery of stomach was done in a strange manner. Al Alexis Tent Martin was a Canadian voyage who is known for his part in experiments on digestion in humans. And this experiment was conducted by American Army surgeon called as William Bion and it was performed between 18,000 or 1822 and 1833 and Alexis Tent Martin in 1822 was badly shot with a musket in an accident. This is the musket. And it seriously damaged the chest wall and made a hole in um, St. Martin's stomach. Dr. Beard treated the wound and saved the life of the patient. However, the hole uh, called fistula is in the stomach could never be closed and healed completely. Bionet could literally watch the pro uh, process of digestion. He daggered or uh, attached the string to a foot and then kept it into St. Martin's stomach and then later pulling it out to observe what extent it had been digested. Alexis St. Martin allowed the experiment to be conducted. Dr. Bernard signed a contract to St. Martin that he will work as a servant. Bernard found that the stomach was churning food. Its wall secreted a fluid which could digest the food. And Dr. Bernard also extracted a sample of ga gastric juice or digestive juice from Martin's stomach for analysis. He used it to digest bits of food in cups. This led to an important discovery that the stomach, ju stomach juices digest the food into nutrients that the body can use. Or he, digestion was primarily a chemical process, not a mechanical process. He also observed that the end of the stomach opens into the intestine only after digestion of food. And ruminants. Ruminants are hooved, plant-eating, herbivorous mammals, which include cattle like cows, buffaloes, and god sheep deer yak and etc and ruminants possess a unique digestive system and the digestive system allows them to better use energy from fibrous um, plant material than other herbivores however of the stomach consists of four chambers they are rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum Roman, this is Roman, reticulum, omasum, abomasum. During grassing, they uh, quickly swallow plenty of grass without much chewing, like this. They be eating. And this adaptation by which they need very little time for feeding, the food is partially chipped and mixed with saliva. This partially chipped food is sent to the rumen. Rumen is a large sac-like structure. Here, partially digestion and food takes place as it has a large population of anaerobic bacteria. And this anaerobic bacteria help in fermentation of the food. These microbes produce called these microorganisms called as uh, cellulose which digest 
this microsome produce enzymes called cellulase which help in digestion of cellulose cellulose is a complex carbohydrate present in gases this part this partially digested food called cud uh, is then pushed to the second cham chamber recticulum in fact the rumen and recticulum are closely associated as they contact mix freely when animal is in rest the cud is brought back into the mouth in small quantities and the food and the animal chews the cud further this process in rumination uh, rum rumen rumination is uh, this process in ruminants are called as rumina rumination and see by in rest it is steaming still it is steaming the cud and this uh, this process is called rumination so these animals are called ruminants or cud chewing mammals after complete chew the food is sent to other parts of the stomach like omasum and abomasum and further into the intestine you may think these ruminants are able to digest a uh, non like raw plants but not humans by this ruminants are able to digest cellulose this raw plants as these raw plants contain cellulose they are uh, able to digest cellulose as they contain bacteria and other microbes in their stomach which help in assist of digestion of cellulose but human beings cannot eat and digest cellulose as they do not have cellulose digesting bacteria in stomach or in the intestine that is why we humans can digest cellulose and digestion in starfish starfish are marine inhabited in herbivore they are like they don't have their main backbone they typically have it in central disc and five arms through some species have more than five arms and the mouth opens through a short esophagus into a stomach the stomach are divided into two by constriction into a larger stomach and a smaller stomach the starfish pops out its large stomach to engulf the and digest the food or the prey and when starfish feeds on animals covered by hard shells of calcium carbonate it it opens the shell of the prey and then pops out its stomach through its mouth to engulf the soft animal inside the shell and it the stomach releases some enzymes to digest the prey and the stomach and the partially digested prey then goes back into the stomach of the um body of, of the starfish and the food is slowly digested because of this ability to digest food outside the body starfish can hunt more uh, much larger prey than their mouth their diet include uh, clams and oysters water insects plants like not plants small fish shell animals etc but some starfish are not pure carnivores they even supplement their uh, diet on algae and uh, other uh, organic detritus to decay normal bacteria are present in our mouth but every bacteria are not harmful however yet if we does not do not clean our teeth and mouth after eating many bacteria also begin to live and grow in our mouth 
This bacteria break down sugars present in the leftover food and release acids. And these acids gradually damage the teeth. This damaging the acid damaging the teeth is called as tooth decay. If it is not treated in time, it may even cause toothache and extreme cases results to tooth loss and chocolate sweet like chocolate sweet soft drinks and other sugar products are more culprits of the tooth decay see first the normal teeth this is the normal teeth then turns into this one then it is fully spoiled and therefore one should eat the um, for avoiding the tooth decay one should clean them out with a brush or a dentin and a dental floss dental floss is a special strong thread which is moved between two teeth to trap out food particles this should be done at least two times a day or twice a day and rinse the mouth after every meal and once also one should not put dirty fingers or other unwashed material into the stomach or into the mouth and diarrhea 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 is a condition of passing three or most loose or liquid stools per day it is caused due to an infection of bacteria or um, it is spreads through contaminated water or contaminated water is unclean or polluted water and even food or pure uh, poor hygienic conditions etc and it is very common in india due to lack of proper hygiene and proper it leads to loss of fluids from the body like that is dehydration which may even prove fatal particularly in young children diarrhea should not be neglected the pa uh, patient should be rehydrated by giving oral rehydration solution or r o r s ORS even is a mixture of clean water and salt one pinch of salt and one pinch of sugar and this ORS can be easily prepared at home this should ORS should be given to the that pa uh, patient before consulting a doctor and three measures to prevent diarrhea are access to safe drinking water improved sanitation and personal and food hygiene and they should even be educated about how infection spreads or oral rehydration therapy ort is a type of fluid replacement used as treatment for dehydration it involves drinking water and mixed with food uh, that is sugar and salt while continuing to eat the diet um, dehydration is severe therapy includes supplement zinc also since it introduced and developed by widespread uh, used in late uh, the uh, later parts of 20 uh, 20th century ort has decreased human deaths from dehydration Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and share. If you think these videos are useful, subscribe my channel.